for this beat of the day, uh, I think this is the most difficult beat I've gone over so far. Part of it's the ritornello is a little hard, and ritornello is basically when you're going from one repetition to another repetition. So when you repeat the beat, uh, sometimes if there's a bass drum on the end of four, and then one on the one, a bass drum on the one, it's a little hard to keep your timing. Um, bass drum is on the one, the two, the end of three, and the end of four for this beat. The snare is on the end of one, the end of two, and the four. Normally it's on the two and the four, but it's a little displaced in this beat. So you're actually going to be doing some unusual stuff with this beat. But it's basically bass, snare, bass, snare, hi-hat, bass, snare, bass, then back to bass, snare, bass, snare, hi-hat, bass, snare, bass. So it's basically a riff that you're supposed. You know, you have your bass drum and your snare hitting at opposite times, but always eighth notes on the hi-hat, steady eighth notes. Okay, so I'll go over that with you right now. Okay, for this groove and fill combination, you're going to start out with the easiest groove in rock music, the bass on the one and the three, the snare on the two and the four, hi-hats playing straight eighth notes. Uh, you start out with that easy groove, and then you go into what I think is a very easy paradiddle, which is simply bass drum on the one, then left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So it's just simply one mid-tom hit with the right hand, and then a left and two rights on the snare, and then a left on the high tom, and then a right and a left left on the snare. So it's one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Just like that, okay? I'll demonstrate the groove and I'll first play the groove and then the fill, the groove and then the fill, and then I'll switch to playing the groove three times and then the fill. Okay, today we have another groove fill combination. The bass drum will be on the one, the and of two, and the three. The snare will be on the two and the four. Okay, this is a groove that I taught uh, a few weeks ago. I call it the Michael Jackson groove. It just feels like 
I've heard it in a Michael Jackson song before. Uh, the paradiddle is the second one that I went over. It's simply mid tone followed by left, right, right on the snare. Then you hit the left on the high tom, a right on the floor tom, and two lefts on the snare. So it's one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay? I'll demonstrate that for you right now. Okay, for this groove fill combination, you're going to have a bass drum on the 1, the 3, and the and of 3. A snare on the 2 and the 4. So this, I believe, is the second groove that I taught in my first lesson uh, from September 2015. Okay, bass drum on the 1, the 3, the and of 3, snare on the 2 and the 4. For the paradiddle fill, you're going to be crashing on the 1, followed by left, right, right on the snare. Crashing with the left hand on the two, followed by a right, left, left on the snare. So it's one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and. Uh. Okay, I'll demonstrate that for you right now. Okay, for this groove, it's going to be another Michael Jackson groove, as I call it. Bass drum on the one, the and of two, and the three. A snare on the two and the four. Uh, for the paradiddle fill, it's the uh, paradiddle number four, as I taught. So it's going to be a bass drum and a hi-hat on the one. That's with the right hand, left hand snare on the E of one, two and, I mean and, ah. Uh, 
So it's right, left, right, right. That's one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, whoops, one E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a. All right, so it's one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Yeah, this paradiddle is a little weird, okay? I'll demonstrate that for you right now. Hi, I'm Mike. This is the beat of the day. On this beat, the groove is the bass on the one, snare on the two, bass on the and of three, and the snare on the four. So this is the third groove that I taught in the September of 2015 drum lesson. For your paradiddle, you're going to do a crash on the one, E on the one is a snare, and then two rights for the and and the a uh of one on the high tom. So that's one e and a. Uh. Then you go back to the snare for the two. The e of two is a mid tom, and then the and and the a uh are both on the snare with the left hand. So it's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Back to the crash on the three. Then you're gonna go left on the snare, then right, right. So that's three e and a. Uh. And then four, E, and, A. Uh. So again, four, E, and, A. Uh. So left, right, left. Right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left. Over and over again. Okay? I'll demonstrate that for you right now.
Okay, for this beat, you're going to have a bass drum on the 1 and the 3 as usual, but also on the and of 2. So this is a bass drum leading into beat 3. You're going to have a snare on the 2 and the 4 as usual. Now, with that bass drum leading into 3, you're almost going to have to anticipate beat 3. And it, it's kind of similar to a beat I did before, but without that bass drum on the end of 3 and with it on the end of 2, it gives it a much different feel. So I'll demonstrate it for you right now. Okay, for this groove, uh, <laughs> this is actually not a groove, I gotta turn the page. This is a technique, technique of the day. I normally do beats of the day, fills of the day, grooves of the day, solos of the day. This is technique of the day. And in this book, at page 48 is when they finally start going over open rolls, which are a very important technique. I think I started doing it just too late. So, you know, I don't have the speed of a Tony Royster Jr. on open rolls, but I can do them, I have learned them, and I can teach them. So basically, when you're normally playing drums, you're playing single strokes, which means you're going one, two, and right, left, 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 right, left. And you're going to want to know how to do open rolls because open rolls will give you greater speed, uh, technique, they'll give you, they'll allow you to have more nuanced playing because you can switch between single strokes and open rolls. And open rolls and uh, single strokes actually just have a different sound and feel to them. Okay, so an open roll is basically instead of going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You're going right, right, left, left, 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 etc. Okay? So I'm going to do open rolls. I'm going to start them slow, and I will speed them up. I will try to get the speed up to as high as I can cleanly, and then I will slow it back down.
So similar to the open roll, the paradiddle is a drum technique that I'm going over today. So I'm not going over a drum beat per se, but a technique. Uh, the first paradiddle I'm showing you is the fixed paradiddle. It's the most common paradiddle. And it's just right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Now when you're thinking it through like that, it's it's a little more confusing. But when you're playing it out, it's pretty easy. Um, there was an instructor on Drumeo who basically said, you know, think of it as a triple stroke, so a da da da, but you have a brief pause between the first and second hit, and you put a left in there. So it's and it alternates between the right and the left hand. Um, I would try. You know, just doing a right, left, right, right around the drums first. So, and then start with your left hand, and then incorporate it, the whole paradiddle, and just, just go around the drums. All right, so I'm just going to demonstrate a paradiddle snare roll today, and in the coming days, I'm going to be going over paradiddles that are fills and use more of the drums. Okay. All right, this beat of the day is going to be a paradiddle fill uh, using the toms. Um, I think that I will first loop through the, the, the uh, paradiddle. Uh, there's no feet to it, uh, but you can add feet in. And what I'm going to do is add a bass drum on the one, bass drum on the three, hi-hat on the two and the four. Uh, use the hi-hat as the back beat, uh, bass drum as the down beat, kind of the, the usual. And... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and then there's no groove to it, so that's why I'll add the feet, is to kind of make it groove better, okay? Okay, for this paradiddle of the day, we're going to hit on the right hand on the mid-tom, just like before, the snare with the left hand, and then two right hand hits. Then we're going to hit the high tom with the left hand, the floor tom with the right hand, 
and then two left hand hits on the snare, and then we're just going to simply repeat the pattern for beats three and beats four. So this is a symmetrical beat that could probably be played as a two four, and um, it's all sixteenth notes all the way through. What I'm going to do is play it without the feet, and then I'm going to add a bass drum on the one and the three, and then a, a hi hat stroke on the two and the four, and. Uh, yeah, I'll demonstrate that for you right now. Okay, this groove fill combination utilizes open rolls, which I went over yesterday. For the beat, you're going to play the bass drum on the one and the and of one. You're going to play the snare on the two, bass drum on the three, snare on the four. For the fill, it's sixteenth notes all around. Four sixteenths on the snare, four on the high tom, four on the mid tom, four on the low tom. But instead of going one E and a, uh, you're going one E and a. Uh. Now I realize I've taught something very similar to this because I've been teaching an open roll since the beginning. What I'm going to do is play, loop this, play the groove once, fill, groove, fill, and then after I've looped it enough times, I'm going to play the groove three times and then with the fill. That way you can get the difference, you can feel the difference in the two. I think it feels much better to play a groove three times and then end on that fill the fourth time than to just keep switching between the two. Okay, I'll demonstrate that for you right now.